Hi everyone, we've got the gang. We have something for you. Obviously, international break. We're going to have a few series from all four of us talking about our favourite seasons. So do keep an eye out for that channel coming up. And again, we've got the radio show on Sunday. A little surprise in there. So do watch it. Uh, there's a little uh, little hint of a couple of things that are happening on the channel. But what we're talking about. This is Kyle's idea. So credit guns to him. I wanted to talk about the long staff situation with the contracts running Who would have down. thought uh, any 29 lad coming up with uh, the idea of talking about the long staff? Since, How about that? Since, How did uh, he mention any 29? Yeah, I've shock. got to. I mean, shock. It's, it's like your catchphrase, isn't it? There's not, <laughs> there's not many There's not many things North Shields has to be proud about, right? So, got Sam Fender, haven't you? Yeah, but it's number I, one I, album. I don't really like his music. I'm not being funny. <gasps> I, I don't. Sorry. Oh, we'll kill, have to edit that out. Kill, kill us in the comments, but uh, I don't Reed, rate it. Why did you want to bring up uh, the long stuffs, as your mum rings you. Hey, as mom. my mum rings, us. I'm not here. You know, I've been trying to. Ring Do you want to say hello to your mum? Yeah, we carry on. Yeah, just no, we'll it. just keep going. We'll no, keep going. No, 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 you can answer your mum if you I want. Can't, I can't. <laughs> Why not? Are you gonna have to edit this out, Lee? So you can speak to your mum. How then? We'll crack on. Um, <laughs> the reason why he wanted to bring up. Um, <laughs> The, the long staff for us, <laughs> it's staying in, it's going out, to stay in, so as you can tell, it's stayed in. Um, he wanted to bring up the long staffs because the contract situation is coming to an end. He has a question for you. He's locked himself out again. He has locked himself out, so <laughs> I might have to get up and Johnny might have to take over for present in a minute. Oh, Who, don't leave me with Johnny. Please. What's more important, tying Matty down first or Sean? Ooh, Matty. Why? Because he's younger and he's only got six months left on his contract. Sean does have a longer contract. So, yes, Sean needs a better contract and an improved contract, but Matty's only got six months left or eight months left or something stupid like that. So, no, Matty is the priority. Um, I think we've got to try and tie him down. I think he'll, he'll, I think the fact that he scored against Man United will maybe speed up the process, shall we say, yeah. of mm. getting this contract. But because he can only be on something like two, three grand now. He, like, yeah. I don't know Not personally. Even that. I don't know personally. He won't be on a great deal, but he would have got a nice goal scoring bonus. I'd have thought against Man United. But um, no, he needs he needs a better contract, and it just obviously would he be tempted away? I don't think nah, he would. Not my. I think I think um, you know, I think he'll sign it. I think there's no questions there. I think you're all right. You've got to get him in first. Get him on a ten grand contract a week, whatever, and you know bonuses, whatever. I think you're all right because. He showed the performance. It's not just the first team. Obviously, I followed the under-23s quite heavily, and he shows signs last season as well. He's developed over the summer. But for you, Rob, mm. with Sean, he's been linked heavily, and he has said it has, he has thought of it because it has been heavily linked, especially Man United. Yeah. Who knows what happens, Spurs, Liverpool, whatever in the future. But because he's established first-team player now, he's, whereas yeah. Sean was him, Matty was him, if you know what I mean, 12 months yeah, yeah, ago, yeah. 12 months ago, trying to get in the first team. But these two lads are local lads, which we've cried out for. Mm. Sean needs, obviously, he's only just signed one not so long ago, but he needs another improved contract to stop the club Manchester United coming in. Yeah, to stop the interest that, that's, that's coming in. You know, we love Sean, we want him to stay uh, big time. I think he can be a great player at this club. Um, you know, to, uh, of course, he'll need luck with injuries. But yeah, he needs a, an improved contract for sure. He's someone who's established himself into the first team. Matty, yet to do so. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm full of promise and, and praise for Hell of a for, debut, for man. Matty. For Premier really, League debut, that is. Really Premier League debut. He was good not so long ago against Leicester as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all full of, full of praise for him. But he's, he's yet to prove himself at the highest level. You know, you can't really say you've proven yourself at the highest level if you've only played one game at the highest level. So he's, he's yet to sort of uh, make his mark in the first team but yeah Sean on the other hand he's just that little step ahead of Matty at the moment isn't he he is but I think what you've got to remember is that Sean's had a yeah experience pretty oh, yeah, much he's yeah. got seven months experience of playing I've got football. high hopes for Matty as well you know give, give him a year or two in the first team I've got high hopes that he will yeah. go up the ladder as it were the, the, my only issue is is that if the if they try and tie these players down is that well where's the ambition because if they I don't, yeah, they have to. Because if, if I'm Matty and if I'm Matty or Sean, I'm going. Well, I want to stay at Newcastle because they're my, they're my club. Mm. But are you going to be doing the stuff? Do you that really think that Matty's Newcastle? thinking that way right now? Because he's just brought in. He's like, you seen his interview with Sky Sports. He's like, oh, uh, uh, you know, he's like starstruck. starstruck still. Struck, he's yeah. like, I'm. He's still in the moment. Whereas probably Sean's probably thinking, I might need a move later on or in the next 18 months to go if I, were, if I play for England or I want to go and win trophies I don't think Matty's thinking like that right Poss now. possibly not but I think he will think like that I, I think, think oh yeah but now I don't no. that, 
Possibly I don't think not. that'll convince him to sign. I think he, he will sign. I think Matty probably will as well. But how important is that for our centre on the field future? Because if you look, if you take them two out, they're a breath of fresh air. I know Sean hasn't hit the heights of last season, but I'm sure he'll come good. But John Joe Shelby doesn't look like the player. He doesn't look interest half the time. Key will be a free agent. I think he'll go. Hayden's probably the only other centre midfielder mm. who will probably have a future. I think Hayden's been our best player. If, if you take the, the, the stupid state against Leicester, I think he's probably been our most consistent player outfield this season. And yes, it, you can look at some of the games that we haven't been good enough, but he's the only one that seems to be really interested. I thought Sean Longstaff had his best game in Newcastle shirt against Man United this week. I thought he out-battled Fred McTominay with Matty next to him as well. So What's a Fred? Exactly. What, what is, is a Fred? A Fred O. A Fred O, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mr. Paul Rutter. Have a look at um, Full Time Devils yeah, for the Full Time Devils have got that video, definitely. But no, Fred and McTominay were out battled by Sean and Matty. Sean and Matty at the minute are the two midfielders that have to start against Chelsea. But I think if Hayden comes back into Hayden's after the Wolves game, isn't he? I know he's yeah, he's been banned for one game. So yeah. the Wolves game after the Wolves game, um, he'd be available for selection. So I think if it's between Hayden and Matty Longstaff, maybe Hayden goes back into the team because of more experience. But he knows that Matty's Knocking on the door. Knocking on the door, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Do you think John it's, Joe do you think it's also? Away. Do you think it's also good that taking him out the firing line here and there and bring him back in because when Sean come through, Sean was all the time, and recently Sean was dropped for the Norwich game just to give him a reminder. I know Bruce said it was a rest, but however, it's not a rest. It's a reminder saying that you're not always the first team. I think that's also a good thing to just remind them say you've got to work a little. Yeah, you know? but I'm 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 a fan of the rotation system. You are. Yeah. Why? I think just in general. I think I think it's one of those systems where you're gonna get the best out of you know key key players will stay in of course, but in terms of rotation, it keeps a lot of squad players happy and squad harmony. I think is big in terms of you know morale and morale. It's has one a of them. Can you rest? On I, I disagree. Can, can you rest Matt Ritchie? Well, no, I, mean, so I, I would example. call him a key player. Whereas you know the central midfield position, you can't say there's a real standout player that, that will be first on the team sheet so I think it's good to rotate well, it's around m- funny as I mentioned that if I give you the five midfielders if you rank them one to five Hayden first has to start every game right uh, now no I'd go Sean, I'd, I'd, go Sean ahead I'd, I'd go Sean ahead of Hayden I think for I think just for more composure on the ball I think Sean goes in front of Hayden if, you, if you're doing it that way but I think Sean Longstaff and Isaac Hayden are probably the best two when they're both on form at the minute because we've only seen one game of Matty Longstaff Matty will probably be the third or fourth. What with Key? With Key and Shelby. I just at the minute, like I feel sorry for Shelby in a way. Because people have had to go at John Joe Shelby and that, but he's come openly said that he wants to stay at the football club. And that's refreshing to hear. Does he deserve it at the minute? Probably not. But I'd like to think that on his day, if he can get back to the sort of form that we he's seen in glimpses last season, you've seen in glimpses. Five games a season's not enough. It's not, but I would, mm. I think the fact that he knows now he's not guaranteed a starting place. Especially the fact that Sean's uh, improving all the time, I think he, he needs, it's a kind of a kick up the backside that he desperately needs. Um, I, I disagree with Rob in terms of squad rotation because we're only playing one game a week. We're not Wolves who are playing yeah. your December league. time. We'll be yeah, there. that's what I'm saying. That's but that's the only time at the minute, and maybe the odd occasional mm-hmm. FA Cup third round replay. You know what I mean? So <laughs> Wait, we won't get any further. We, there, we, we yeah. won't get much further yeah. past. So I don't think squad unless, unless you take away the Christmas period, the squad rotation is probably not really needed, but. Um, no, you've got to give credit to Sean and Matty for what they did on Sunday. Um, and at the minute, they're going to have they're going to be starting against Chelsea, and it'll be well deserved. Would you go along the lines of that, Rob? Would you put Chelsea ranked right at the bottom now at those five? As far as form goes, yeah, he need he needs to do something special to sort of step. Or he needs to step it up first. I think it'll take something special if I'm going to sort of take him up the the list of the rankings in in the midfield. Cool. Final thing before I wrap up is a bit of Geordie DNA everywhere mm. nowadays. I mean, we were crying on for years and years and years. That only had Paul Dummett, really. And now we've brought Andy back home. We've got Paul Dummett. We've got the two, Matty and Sean. Yeah. Steve Bruce, to some extent, yeah, you might say, uh, whether you go on like, Do you think that's important? I think it is. I think, look, every club wants to see someone of their own do mm. well. And yeah. at the minute, we're quite fortunate that we know four or five players that are knocking on the door or are involved in Newcastle's first eleven, which is fantastic to see. Every time a player comes on, you you almost saying he's one of our own. He's one of our own. There's always the such. song, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, such and such. He's one of our own, which is always great to hear. Um, I think you know if we had eleven Geordies out there, I think we'd be all very proud. But they need to merit and they need to make sure that they deserve their place in the team. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and at the minute, you'd have to say 90% of them are deserving their places in the team. Um, even Paul Dummett was probably to some extent unlucky. I think Paul, not. Yeah, Paul Dummett was very unlucky to be dropped, in my opinion. I think he and Clark did a good job. But Paul Dummett, for me, is definitely one player that, if he was brought back in the team, the Newcastle fan would grumble. So that that mm. just shows how much he's improved over the years. But yeah, I, I, I like the Geordie DNA. You know, it's great it is, to see. It, it has that affiliation, doesn't it, Rob, with Toon yeah. fans? We like that because... Well, yeah, nowadays but, with mm. the amount of probably the last 20 years the amount of money getting chucked in bringing the foreign talent over which has helped the Premier League it makes it find the balance yeah. but it, it makes it special when you have youngsters of your own come through and for me personally um, I love seeing Sean and Matty play together I, I see a lot of them in what me and my older brother were like uh, you know playing in the garden and um, having banter with each other and sort of uh, it's the same age difference as well between Sean and Matty than it is between um, me, uh, my older brother and I. So, yeah, we well, had it with the Amiobis, but the thing is with the Amiobis, they're not mm. like prop path. No, they're not just saying that they're not full on Geordies. Sammy, that Sammy was lacked, in and out he? the club, mm. whereas these two are in the first team, and Matty's got a real chance to get in there as well. So and stamp and stamp his authority on on the first team. So I think um, it's it it's only up from here for them. Um, you know, I think. In the midfield, like I say, there isn't really one player that you'd put straight in there. Um, so I, I think I think that that's that's going to be a big benefit to Matty. Speak of the devil, there he is. <laughs> oh, he's back. Are you staying behind the camera yeah. now? So that is a wrap up. Everything all right? Aye. Everything's out right with his ma. Uh, everything's all right with Matty and Sean as well at the moment. So Kyle, that was his idea, and he didn't see him. Let us know if you do find Kyle. Any twenty nine. Might be in the comments. Who knows? He could be. He could be amongst there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tell him.